We have a two camera setup. Isn't it lovely? And everybody is shooting in 4K and we have external audio and let me double check that. Okay, it's recording. This winter I'm making a series of videos about hats because it is cold and I don't like to be cold. Hats are a great opportunity to try out new techniques because it's not... Why is it? It's like a small low stakes project so if it doesn't work out you're not committed to a big thing and it's an opportunity to experiment on a small scale and come up with something pretty cool. So this hat is gonna be cables. I'm working with some leftover Tweety yarn from the Victorian Cycling Sweater Project. There's a link to that video in the description. I'll be making this on my brother Bulky270, which is actually behind the camera at the moment. I'll have to get that set up. There's a link to the playlist with all of my hat videos. If you haven't seen those yet, go check them out, especially the beginner hat tutorial, because that is where I show you how to draft the basic pattern for hats. Let's get started. Let's draft the pattern for this hat. We're gonna start with the same basic rectangle that we've been using for every hat. And this is going to be 20 inches by nine and a half. And this doesn't have any kind of folded brim, so we don't need to add anything to this rectangle. What we're gonna do instead is do two inches of ribbing for the brim. So it'll be two inches of one by one ribbing, and then we will change to the cable pattern. And the cable pattern is going to be two stitches on the bottom bed, and then four stitches on the top bed for the cables. And these will like get transferred around so they go something like that. You get the idea. And then these two are just purl stitches. The cable pattern is a repeat of six stitches. And then we'll have two extra stitches on either edge for the seam of the hat. So we're going to have to fudge the math a little bit for the width of the hat to get it to fit into this parameter of a multiple of six plus two. This is the yarn that I'm using and I'm actually gonna do this the wrong way. The right way to do this is to make a swatch that is a sample of this pattern with the cables and then use that to figure out the gauge. I decided not to do that. I'm just gonna take a gauge from this stockinette swatch because I'm lazy. You can get away with doing this for a hat for a small project, but for anything larger than this, the error in the difference between the gauge of the stockinette versus the gauge of the actual pattern will compound significantly. So if like you were making a sweater with this kind of pattern, you should make a swatch with this kind of pattern and then use that to get the gauge. But the gauge from the stockinette doing this the wrong way is 4.85 stitches per inch and 6.5 rows per inch. So if we were to translate that directly to this pattern, that would mean it's 97 stitches wide and then 62 rows tall. But we need to fudge this width so that it's a multiple of six plus two. And the closest multiple of six plus two to this is going to be 98 stitches. And then the brim of this hat, which is gonna be two inches of one by one ribbing. We're going to cast on for one by one ribbing and then knit 13 rows. And then we're going to transfer to the cable pattern. And then we're gonna keep knitting until we get to 62 rows. And there's our cabled hat. Let's make this. Cast on for one by one ribbing. Knit 13 rows. Then transfer stitches so that we have our cable pattern with four stitches on the top bed for the cables and two stitches on the bottom bed in between each cable. It's easiest to start from the end. Each edge should have two stitches on the bottom bed for the side seam and then start the cable pattern. I don't know why I started in the middle. Knit one row in the new configuration and then we move on to the cables. You'll need two two-pronged transfer tools for this. And then just swap the stitches. This puts a lot of tension on the yarn, so you may need to help the yarn back onto the needles. Knit 
then bring the needles out into holds so the machine doesn't have to do as much work knitting them back. Keep track of what direction you're doing the transfers in and try to keep it consistent. This is going to be hard to knit. Be careful, don't force it. I'm knitting four rows between each set of transfers, but you should swatch and see what looks good with your yarn. We're doing the same gathering at the crown that we did for the intermediate hat. I'm doing this all in one step, transferring the needles to the main bed and also every other needle. Turn the tension down to half of what it was before and knit one row. Then thread the stitches onto the long tail. Here's the finished piece. And here it is washed and blocked. Here's the finished hat. I'm glad that I made it. I learned a lot about cables, but it was really a workout to get the machine to knit after I'd done the transfers. I don't think I would do that many cables in one project again. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know in the comments what technique you would try out with a hat. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting. Were you able to stay in focus the entire time? We're gonna look at your footage. Goodbye to you, old camera. Well, not goodbye, just I'm turning you off now.